I've had a very busy morning. One could almost class it as exhausting. I've started out at Wilson, who has, unfortunately, become somewhat judgmental today. Looks at me over his glasses, concern in his eyes. What do you actually want these for? Perhaps we can discuss this further? It's for the flash. The flash, you stupid old furball. The freaking flash. It's freaking me out. It went right through me. I need something to take the edge off. I'm going crazy. So I went and saw Paramount. Much better. He understands what I'm going through. I didn't even have to use the flash story. Wrote me a prescription. No problems. But I forgot the Pergodon. I find that the Librium makes me too lethargic without the Pergodon. So I had to go and see Russell. Dame Russell. Well, I couldn't really go back to Paramount now, could I? That would be stretching it a bit too far. Russell got all uppity as well. How many of these are you taking, Roz? How long have you been on them for? So I went and saw Edmund. Just got in before lunch. I don't like going to see him. Who does? He just raves on and on incessantly. But my options were quite reduced at this stage. But he gave me the Pergodon and some Rohypnol as well. I was thinking of pushing for some Narconol too. I'm running a bit low at present. But I usually get those from Walsh. And after some consideration, I thought, there's no sense risking it. Don't be greedy, Grandma always used to say. Anyway, mission accomplished eventually. Except for the tryptonol. It's very hard to get at present. It's been taken off a list or something. I am not an addict. I'm not. I work, I have a job, I have a life, I've never stuck a needle in my arm, I've never OD'd, I have never bought illegal drugs. Never. Yes, I have cheated on the odd prescription, that is true, but the drugs, if you can even call them drugs, the pills, the pills that I take are 100% safe. They've been prescribed for me by doctors, not quacks, doctors. They know what's best for me. They prescribe them for my nerves. It's not my fault I have bad nerves. I'm just going through a bad time. But once it passes, I'll reduce my intake. I'll cut back a little. My life is manageable. My life is manageable. It is. It's true, I do occasionally double up, occasionally, but that doesn't mean that I'm an addict. It's the only way that I can get some respite, some relief from the never-ending pressures of a busy life. Yes, I should get off them. Yes, they're probably bad for me in the long run, and I will when I get better, when I can cope better. Yes. Things haven't been getting better for quite some time. In fact, they're probably getting a whole lot worse. But that's got nothing to do with the medications. That's just because I'm not taking the right balance. I'm still finding the correct dosage. But once I do that, once I find the right mix, things will get better. The world will start to make sense again. Look at it rationally. If you have a problem and somebody offered you a solution, safe, 100% safe, well, you'd be mad not to take it. If you had cancer and somebody offered you a cure, quick, effective, painless, you'd be insane to refuse it. I'm simply availing myself of the best of modern medicine. I'm holding out my hand and I'm accepting the offer of help. I have a problem. And through taking a simple pill, that problem can be removed. Completely removed. 
I ask you, what's so wrong about that? It's sensible. Just plain sensible.